This is the personal best for my son. He caught an 85 pound spoonbill. And that was his best one. And we've caught a few other ones. And then about the, the tenth one we caught, it was the 151 pounds, 14.4 ounces. My name is Corey Waters, and I'm the world's record holder for paddlefish on Keystone Lake, weighing in at 151.9 pounds. 151.9. Yeah! Yes. Good job! You got paddlefish are such a, a neat fish. They, they get big, they're primitive, and uh, anything that gets big and is is as bizarre looking as a paddlefish is. Uh, that kind of stuff is just uh, intuitively attractive to people. So here's some of our fishing trips from all throughout the year. We've had had a lot of big fish here caught. A triple digit fish, are, they're not very common. Keystone has produced several of these triple digit fish. It's not uncommon for each trip that we go out to produce a triple digit fish. My name is Jeremiah Mefford. I'm the owner operator of Real Good Time Guide Service here on Keystone Lake. I've been guiding here since February of 2020. Since then, I've been very blessed. We've actually landed four fish that have been current or possible new world records. Two of them are official. Uh, one of them came in at 146. The other one was 151.9. We know that paddlefish in Keystone Lake have been large for some time. You've got genetic influences. You've got ecological influences, physiological. Yeah, it all kind of comes together potentially in influencing the growth of paddlefish in Keystone Lake and the results of that we're seeing now with, with anglers snagging massive fish, uh, not only massive fish but world record paddlefish in, in one lake in Oklahoma in a, in a fairly restricted time period. Keystone Lake, a 23,600 acre reservoir upstream from Tulsa, is home to world-class size paddlefish. In fact, in 2020 alone, anglers boated dozens of triple-digit sized paddlefish, making records, breaking records, and breaking records again. This is the story of Keystone Lake's record-breaking frenzy. It was Friday, February 14th, 2020. Justin Hamlin of Kellyville snagged and boated a 157-pound paddlefish from the bow of guide Jeremiah Mefford's boat. At that time, the hook and line world record was a 144-pound paddlefish from a watershed pond in Kansas, caught in 2004. But since Hamlin's 157-pounder was caught on a mandatory catch and release day, a legal certified weight could not be used. So, although by all accounts this was the biggest paddlefish ever caught, it could not be called the world record. Talk about a Valentine's heartbreaker. More than three months later, guide Jeremiah Mefford once again saw a record class fish enter his boat, as he himself landed one weighing 143 pounds. That fish broke the Oklahoma state record by 10 and a half pounds. One month later, on June 28, James Lucart of Edmond bested Mefford's catch with a new world record fish weighing an incredible 146.7 pounds. <laughs> but amazingly, that record didn't last long because on July 23rd, Corey Waters of Oshaleta landed a new world record fish weighing 151.9 pounds. 151.9. Yeah. Incredibly, all four record fish were caught from Jeremiah Mefford's boat on Keystone Lake. We started after the world record fish, which we didn't know it at the time, and we finally got a hook in it, and I started reeling it in, and it started getting closer and closer to the boat. And Jeremiah, he was excited. He was like, this is a big fish. Like he was, he was about ready to jump on the water because it was, he was so excited. We knew it was big. We knew it was big. It wasn't until it came up and out of the water that we realized just the sheer size of that fish. As Soon as it came out and it topped the water for the first time after a several minute long fight, I knew right then and there, we probably had the new world record fish. 
and the wife she put a lot of the, the articles that everybody's wrote about it some of the interviews I've had on it and then also a lot of the Facebook uh, comments that's kind of neat to look at and, uh, with the the tag of it not only was it a giant fish and it's it's great for Oklahoma to boast that world record paddlefish but it has a really cool conservation story in that it had a, a band on it, a tag, that was placed by a paddlefish researcher back in the late 1990s. So my name is Craig Pockert, and I'm the leader of the Missouri Cooperative Fish and Wildlife Research Unit at the University of Missouri, and I'm also a cooperative professor there at MU. I actually got my start at, uh, with paddlefish at Oklahoma State University where I was getting my master's degree at the Oklahoma Cooperative Fish and Wildlife Research Unit at OSU and that was actually uh, tagging paddlefish and trying to understand uh, their biology in Keystone Lake outside of Tulsa. Uh, at the time in the mid 90s uh, ODWC really didn't know how many fish were in the lake and how abundant they were uh, so my job as a master's student was to go out there and net fish determine you know, the size and abundance of the fish, and then we tag some fish as well to look for recaptures and determine where they went to potentially spawn. My name is Brandon Brown. I'm the Paddlefish Program Coordinator for the Paddlefish Research Center up at the North End of Grand Lake by my AMA. Back years ago when I was at OSU as an undergrad, I worked on, with Craig Pockert, who was getting his master's degree. I don't remember how many fish we tagged, back in uh, 96 and 97, uh, but, but it was many. And uh, kind of forgot about those fish. Yeah, so this was just really bizarre. Probably one of the highlights of my career, really, to, to have this happen. So I was just sitting at my desk, you know, that morning, and I get a phone call from uh, a newspaper in Tulsa. And they said, you know, you don't know me, but apparently someone on Keystone Reservoir just caught a fish that you tagged. And I was dumbfounded because this was 20 some years ago. Um, so after doing some digging, um, found out the tag number from the angler and that uh, ODWC went down there and was, was weighing the fish and, and uh, measuring the fish and certifying it. And it ended up that I looked through my files and it was a fish I tagged on January 4th, 1997. And it was around 7.7 .7 pounds and 24 inches long when we tagged it. And lo and behold, 23 years later, you know, it was 151 pounds. So it was really neat to, to see that come full circle. It's kind of funny how things come full circle. I had never seen a paddlefish before. I worked for Craig. Never, when I, when I got out of college, I never thought, at that time, there weren't any jobs working with paddlefish, you know. It was just this weird grad project that, that Craig had. And, uh, you know, you go down the road 15 or 20 years, and I, I'm working with our paddlefish program up at Miami. Uh, Ten years later, uh, we're catching the world record paddlefish out of Keystone Lake that Craig and I likely tagged together, you know, back in January in, in 1997. Just the probability of that happening is, is so low. And to see that fish that was caught in a research net uh, 23 years ago now is uh, holding the title of the world record paddlefish is, is pretty spectacular. As Oklahomans, we absolutely should be proud of this, uh, of the fishery, of the world record catch. Our fishery here is exceptional compared to other states. We are really fortunate to have what we have here. And uh, a lot of other places uh, would be uh, would really like to have what we have. We won the paddlefish lottery, so to speak. Will the record ever be broken again? And if so, will it come from Keystone again? Do I think there's bigger fish to be caught? I do. I don't think that world record is going to last long at 151.9. It would not surprise me in the slightest if we break the world record again. Uh, however, seeing a continuation of sort of a record-breaking frenzy where it's just month after month after month, we have a new record. I, I think those days may be limited. All these current world records, they're still in the lake and they're still good and healthy. <laughs>